Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to the Eon Laser USA YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be showing you how to set up your smart rotary on a Mira Eon Laser. You will need a smart rotary, cabinet key, Allen key set, manual focus gauge, and the USB stick on your keychain provided to begin. First, you'll open the lid and using your cabinet key, unlock the front panel and carefully open it. Then remove the honeycomb from the laser bed and set it off to the side. Turn on your machine. On the keypad, select ZU. Press and hold down the right arrow to lower the bed all the way down. Place the smart rotary in the middle of the laser bed, ensuring the rotary motor is on the right side of the machine, closest to the keypad. Plug the smart rotary into the rotary port. Once the rotary is plugged into the machine, the up and down arrow keys will control the rollers and not the gantry. Please avoid pressing them at this time. Pull the gantry by hand until parallel with the smart rotary. Jog the laser head along the entire front edge of the smart rotary using your keypad controls. Then, using a 2.5mm Allen key, loosen the set screws on all four wheels, but careful, do not remove them. Then determine how many wheels your cup will need. In today's video, we will be using the two wheel rotary settings. Then, position the mouth of the tumbler directly onto the metal bars and against the sides of the two furnace wheels to prevent any shifting. Adjust the remaining two wheels underneath the opposite end until the desired engravable area is level. Double check that the engraved workspace is perfectly level and not on any raised portions or logos. Then, using a 2.5mm Allen key, carefully tighten all four wheels about one to two turns into place. Then, plug in your USB that is attached to your ignition key and open Lightburn to load your rotary settings. In Lightburn, navigate to Edit in the top left toolbar. Scroll down and select Machine Settings. Your Machine Settings pop-up will appear. Now you'll want to load your rotary files onto your computer. Select Load from File, then locate your USB. Select the Settings folder. Select your machine's rotary settings. And for this video, we will select the Mira 7 Smart Rotary 2 wheels. Next, we will write these settings. Controller settings written successfully will appear. Next, you'll read your settings. Scroll down to confirm that Enable Rotary is true. Select OK. Next, you'll import your file into the artboard. For this design, we will rotate it 270 degrees. Now we will double check our settings. Ensure air assist is turned off and select OK. Now you'll send your artwork over to your laser. Using your hand, pull the gantry forward until the red dot is in the center of where your artwork will be. Ensure your Y-axis is located in the middle of the machine. For our Mira 7, that is 225 millimeters. For the Mira 5, that's 150 millimeters. And the Mira 9 is 300 millimeters. Once you've found your center, then select Origin. Manually focus with a 20.5mm manual focus gauge. For tumblers, we recommend using a focus gauge of 10.5mm. Now it's time to frame your artwork. Load your file to your machine by selecting File, select your art, and hit Enter. Select Frame on your keypad to frame your work. Then press blower switch on the side of the machine. Close your lid and press Start to begin your job. Now it's time to clean your work. In this video, we are using LA Awesome and a rag. 
Once you're done engraving, do not turn off your machine or unplug your rotary cord. Head to Lightburn, hit Edit, and select Machine Settings. Select Load from File, locate your USB, and select the Settings folder. Select your machine rotary settings, and locate Flat Settings. Select Write to write your new settings. Ensure controller settings written successfully appears. Read your settings. Then scroll down to ensure that Enable Rotary is false. Select OK. Then unplug the rotary and remove everything from the laser bed. Finally, select Reset on the keypad. And you're all set. Thank you for watching.